happy August, all. Uh, we've got a very, very hot summer day today. I am dripping sweat. You might notice the camera lighting is a little darker than usual. That is because I'm keeping my lights off. My air conditioners do not reach this room very well, and I don't want to trip on the cards. And I'm very excited for what we have to do today, so the excitement might make me sweat even more. Also, I'm wearing this super cool shirt. I don't think you can read it, but it says Captain John's Crew. John is my father. Uh, and then it says, I like big boats and I cannot lie. Today, we will be opening Pokemon 151 in Japan once again. I had to go back for a second booster box after I had so much fun opening the first one. But I'm actually going to split this booster box up across a few openings because I also want to go through a graded card return. I have 10 graded cards here that I want to look at. And to keep this video from being three hours long, we're going to split up our booster box and go through these. And we'll open up this booster box throughout the course of the month of August. Reminder, we are starting a new giveaway pile today for the month of August. And reminder, the 500 subscriber giveaway is ongoing. We unfortunately did not get to 500 subs by August 1st, but we're still giving away a PSA 9 Kadabra, which is a vending machine one from like 1999 or 2001 or something. It, it's on the screen, <laughs> you see it. That is still being given away when we reach 500 subs. So keep clicking that subscribe button to enter the monthly giveaways. You need to one, like my video, two, subscribe to my channel, and three, comment in the comment section below with anything you'd like. And if it's gonna make me sad, but it's brutally honest, I'll take it anyway. So I am gonna go ahead and open up, shuffle, and divide up the packs in this box for some to divide up the openings, and then we will get underway. All right, I also do not know what the likelihood is of us getting a duplicate in these Pokemon 151 packs is. So just to make sure we are adding to that monthly giveaway pile, I'm gonna reach into my magic box here and pull out a card and this is a good one. So my magic giveaway box this time has given us a Firefish, the Chi Yu Treasures of Ruin Firefish from the Japanese set uh, SV2D, which is Scarlet and Violet. Uh, it is the one that has the, the clay burst one, the expensive one, not the snow hazard. That one has the, the ice leopard and the grassy snail. This one's got the, the big moosey moose and firefish. Firefish is definitely my favorite of the treasure of ruins. I mean, look at that guy, just a fiery fish. So that goes to the giveaway pile, which I've already explained, like, subscribe, comment. And let's begin by looking at our first graded card. Now, these cards, I swear by, CGC, I love them. I have never been disappointed by them. They're not as notable as PSA for some reason. And PSA honestly is trash. PSA does not have consistent grading. They grade far easier than people believe. I got a 10 from PSA. I've sent one card ever to PSA and I got a 10. It's right up here. Uh, yeah, right up here. So technically it's worth more money than CGC right now, but I think over time that's gonna change. And CGC just came up with an agreement with a sports card grading company. And now they have merged together. You can send sports cards into CGC as well. And they have brand new labels. I love the new labels. So for a first look at these new labels, I do have this card that is quite beat up. It is an old card from my childhood. I got it way back when I was like five, six, seven years old. And I decided to grade it. It is not very great looking, but I wanted to have it because it's nostalgic. So without further stalling, we've got the new CGC label. This one is an excellent five. Nine Tails Pokemon Expedition 21 out of 165. It is a hollow from 2002. This was a card I pulled as a child from the e-reader series. I think it's so neat. And honestly, at first I was hoping for a six or more, but what I didn't realize and only just realize now that I'm, that I like was reviewing these graded cards is it has a crease right around here. I'm not sure how well the camera picks that up, but there is a crease. If there's a crease in a card, it automatically gets knocked down to a six. So then obviously along with the crease and the other things in here, this was never gonna get a six, but that's okay. I'll still take a five. I think that was honestly a slight bit generous. Um, for all these cards, prices will flash on the screen. 
at least the roughest prices you can. But yeah, there's your first look at the new black and white CGC labels. I think they're clean and cool. If you wanna see what the old blue labels look like, you can just review any of my blue labels up here behind me. Um, these ones that are gold or anything that was a 10. So uh, there is a special label, I believe, for 10s on this, which we will find out perhaps later in this opening. But so there's card number one, Nine Tails from the Expedition series all the way back in 2002 when, spoiler alert, I was a mere seven years old. Didn't know how to take care of my cards back then, evidently. And let's go to the next one in the pile. Uh, I'll do a quick review of the back. It looks like some of these are hard to tell if it's dust from the box or if it's actually dust, like, dots on the card. This one looks very good. I think this up here, yeah, that's just... Again, dust from the box. I will get these put into sleeves later on. Um, this must be one of the ones that got a nine or a 10. So let's flip it around. I don't even know what card it is. It is Charizard Celebrations Classic Collection. It got a mint nine. Actually, I am very impressed by this. I bought this card off of TCG Player. So I had no way of knowing what the centering was gonna look like or what the condition other than it being near mint was gonna look like. Overall, to get a nine out of that, I am pretty happy with. I did get a mostly centered, I think maybe if I had subgrades, it would say it's not a perfect centering because it does by the naked eye look like this side's a little thinner. Um, but overall, not disappointed with that. CGC nine from the Charizard Classic Collection. A collection, my first ever master set that I got was from the Classic Collection. So pat me on the back for that one. And now that that one's done, let's go over and open a couple of 151 booster packs because I love this set a lot. So first pack, I don't remember. I think you do one to the front. If I'm remembering correctly, that seems to be right. So we have Erica, Doduo, Bellsprout, Growlithe, Weezing, Reverse Hollow with the Pokeball design, and Kadabra. -y. Wait, whoa. Okay, it's two to the front. Spoiler, it's two to the front. But that's awesome. This is the first Kadabra card since like, yikes. It was like 2001 or something like that. So I am very excited to pull that. 65, 165, out of 165. Kadabra, is that Alakazam? I'm so dumb. <laughs> Forget everything I just said. This is Alakazam EX because that's Kadabra up here. Half of you were laughing at me. The other half of you were so like, yeah, yeah, get him, Alex, get him. Anyways, there you go, Alex Sam EX. Not the first Kadabra card. Let's set him back here behind uh, Agumon and let's get another pack open. Yikes, I feel really stupid. Am I blushing? One, two to the front in this pack. We have Machoke doing his stance, an apple that has already been eaten, a tan jelly getting a berry off the tree, a Machop doing his stance. The, the Machop, Machoke, Machamp stance is pure fire in this set. We've got. <laughs> Also a stance that I'm more familiar with from Seal. And Shelter Reverse Hollow, and that leaves one more card. Can it be another hit? It's so. Oh, that is an Omastar Hollow. I do remember seeing this, I believe, when we opened this the first time. So that means Omastar Hollow is going to the giveaway pile. Thank you for keeping an eye on that, Dota Isle. Okay, let's go back to CGC. This one, we've got another one with obviously some box crumbs. That's what we'll call them, box crumbs. On the card, I will uh, air blow these off and air blow as opposed to like water blow. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying the word blow now. Uh, let's just flip it around and see. Ooh, that is the Shining Rayquaza from the Shining Legends collection. That is 2017, as you can see, 56 out of 73, copyright 2017. 8.5 near mint, mint plus. I actually, I don't know how most people feel. I prefer to just get flat eight or flat nine. I just, for some reason, don't like the half grades, but it's a decent grade. It makes sense. I think, again, this might've been a card I got on TCG Player, and I actually think I ordered this as a lightly played card and it came in looking near mint. So definitely fine with that. So there's our Shining Rayquaza. That means I think next we might have, I did send in a Shining Mew. So this one could be that Shining Mew if the cards stayed in the order I sent them, if I sent them in that order. Uh, it does look nice. This one looks like it has great centering too from the backside at least. So there, oh, well, <laughs> Shining Mew, Gem Mint 10. That is not a perfect 10. So 
The Perfect 10s, I think, might have different labels. This is a Gem Mint 10, not a Perfect 10. But either way, Shining Mew, that is a good looking card. It's worth a decent amount of money. Price flash is on the screen. Oh man, take a look. We'll do a little pan for you so you don't get the ring light on it. Um, we'll go up here, 40 out of 73. Again, copyright 2017, Shining Legends, Shining Mew. Two more Pokemon 151 packs now. Looking for those alt arts. Let's stand you up here and let, oh, did I not cut all the way? Come on, Alex. Come on, you can, you're better than this. There we go. Okay. One, two, flip it around. We have Lapras, Doug Trio, Porygon, Vulpix, Lickitung, Snorlax, the chunky Snorlax with a print line right down the middle of it on the hollow and Arbok EX, I think, I think, I think, I think we got an Arbok EX as well last time. So I am going to tentatively put this in our giveaway pile to join our Firefish and our Omastar. I am fairly certain we got Arbok, sorry, my hands are like stuck to the cards because of all the humidity. I'm pretty sure we got that once before, so I'm adding that to the giveaway pile. I will go back and check, and I might just leave it in the giveaway pile either way, because it's probably not like pulling a Charizard where I'll just never be able to get it again. Um, one, two, we have another pack of 151, and we have a belt. We have, ooh, that Golbat card's very pretty. They should do a full art of this with like the moon in the background, and they could do, make it one of those story cards where it's like Zubat flying through maybe like a... I don't know, flying through, what, what's it called, an opaque moon? <laughs> I don't know what the word is for a non-crescent. This one's a crescent. The one on the other way is like a, a, I don't know. I don't know. It's eggplant moon. Um, then they could have Zubat, and then they could have, I mean, Golbat, and then they could do Crobat, and it could be like a full moon or something. Anyways, that's my idea. Take it or leave it. It would require the artist illust Illustrator Scav to make those full art cards for us. Let's not get caught up on that card though. We have a ways to go through these uh, boxes of things. Cubone looking for his mother. Horsey reverse hollow with another print line down here on the side. And we've got Kabutops rare hollow. So there we go. That is technically not a hit in that pack, but there is your Kabutops hollow. And now we return right on back to our graded card. So this will mark the halfway point, graded card number five. This one clearly is not gonna be a 10 because I see a little, little Nick right there. A little Nicholas. Uh, there's also a tiny, tiny Nicholas up here and a little Nicholas down there. So I'm guessing at best a nine, maybe an eight. Uh, let's flip it around. And there you go. There's the eight Dark Raichu first edition. I got this. I got such a good deal on this card when I bought it. It was unfortunately not something I pulled as a child. First edition from the Team Rocket set. This was marked as a lightly played card because of those Nicholases on the back. And a near mint eight to me is a good grade because the whole front of it has like no scratching or anything. So for this card, I am pretty happy. This is one that will probably end up behind me at some point. Um, up on the wall behind me. I hope none of you interpreted that differently. Uh, Dark Raichu, Team Rocket. There you go. There's the first edition stamp. Gotta love it. The centering was really good, which I wonder if that's more common in the old days back in the year 2000. Next, we've got a much better looking card from the back. I'm not seeing, other than cardboard shavings, I'm not seeing anything crazy. So maybe this is a nine or a 10. It is a... 9.5, I don't like the halves. I'd rather a nine or a 10, but not complaining again. This is Mewtwo and Mew GX, something I did pull with my little brother a few years ago, 2019. That was probably right, oh yeah, that would have been right before COVID started, which was about the time my little brother decided he didn't like Pokemon cards anymore because he's too cool for that. Clearly I am not too cool for that. Mewtwo and Mew GX. Like it, love it, gotta have it. Cold Stone Creamery, try some tag team words. Let's open up some Pokemon cards now. We've got four packs left for this opening. Let's go with our, here, stand you up. We've got our new pack as all the packs are because Japanese packs only have one artwork. We spin it around and we've got Onyx, Wart Hurdle, Mankey, Venonat, 
Star you. <gasps> That's the alt art Caterpie. That's so funny. Like the weakest Pokemon basically ever in the first generation, besides obviously Weedle. And it's got its own alt art card. And his art rare 172 out of 165. As always, it's in Japanese, so it's got really good centering. <laughs> That's so funny. We've got the, the Caterpie alt art also giving us a chance at a double banger. I hardly know her pack, which not quite a double banger. I hardly know her pack, but I approve of that pull. Now we've got another pack for this and we open. Oh, sorry, camera. One, two, spin it around. Oh, I might've seen something there. Maybe this is our Charizard <laughs> or our Mewtwo or our Alakazam or Kadabra that I was so willing to discuss. Scyther, Arcanine, a fan favorite. Arcanine, you're part of our squad. You're the, the Vakanine card. Here you go. We've got Rhyhorn, Goldeen Goldeen, Pidgey, Reverse Weeping Bell with a print line. I'm surprised at all the print lines in these this box. And a, oh, I guess I didn't see something. Mr. Mime Hollow standing on his head. Hello, Mr. Mime. Mime, Mime, Mime. Back to the cards that were graded. We've got, oh, okay. This one's got a Nicholas. Um, I'm guessing 8.5. I'm an animal. I actually, so I did open one of these boxes beforehand just to see what the label looked like, but I didn't look through all of the grades. So I don't know which cards are coming up or anything like that. Uh, Espeon EX, this we pulled on this channel less than a year ago. Um, I somehow found the Pokemon Breakpoint cards on like a random site. I found Breakpoint, um, pre was it pre-release boxes or something? I don't know. I somehow got some Breakpoint packs and we happened to pull this Espeon Full Art. This is circa 2016, 8.5 near mint slash mint plus. This is a card I'm not like emotionally attached to. So there's a chance I'll throw this on eBay. Um, if you subscribe to this channel and you like to periodically check out if any of my cards that I pulled are out there on eBay, send me a message. If you subscribe, maybe I'm willing to make a deal with you, give you some a discount on the cards, you know, just cause I would rather support my, my supporters. I would rather give the discounts to than some random eBay buyer who just wants to flip the card, you know? Uh, so yeah, there we go. SB on EX from Breakpoint. That I will put with the rest of my already viewed cards and go to the next one where we have, ooh, this one maybe is a 10. Centering looks good. There's no Nicholas's, no creases. So it depends on what the front looks like. It's, ooh, it's a nine. Another card we pulled on this channel. Another card I'm not like in love with. This is the Chilling Pain. 172 out of 198, all, uh, full alt art, Shadow Rider, Calyrex V. I do like the card and the artwork, but the Pokemon itself, like Shadow Rider, Calyrex, the set, Chilling Rain, I was just never a really big fan of. I feel like the pulls were hard to come by in that set, and it didn't have the greatest pulls in general. Some people love the set, though. I can't believe we're already going back to 2021 when that was a thing. Gem Mint 9, probably a fair grade. I don't see anything wrong with it, but I'm sure once they get under the micro glass, the micro glass, I'm sure once they get under their little glass diamond checker thing, they probably found some issue with the card, especially because again, it's something we pulled on the channel. There's a chance it got shuffled around a little when I was doing my cleanup, but still another card that may end up on eBay. So like I said, always feel free to send me a message. Okay, and I think that means let's go to our last two Pokemon 151 packs and then our last two graded cards. It doesn't feel like we're gonna get our alt art secret, alt, like our secret rare in this one. We still could, but the booster boxes have 20 packs. It would be quite surprising if in these first eight we did get it, but maybe it'll be a last pack magic kind of thing. Clay, sort of clay, no, not clay, Slowbro, Rapid Ash. Pikachu, Krabby, Eevee, Magmar Reverse Hollow. That's the one that feels like it was just a cutout of the anime. Like they took a screenshot of a Magmar from the anime and just went jump on the card right there. And we've got Wigglytuff EX, the big chunky sucking in the air Wigglytuff. Imagine if in Super Smash, instead of having, having Jigglypuff, they just were like, nah, let's have Wigglytuff in Super Smash. I would play Wigglytuff all the time if it was this size. It would be like, it'd be like Wario, except just a big pink thing, like bouncing around, sucking on things. 
<laughs> Wigglytuff EX, that is 40 out of 165. Yeah, there's so many secret rares in this set that even the like normal type cards usually go to the end of the set, but that's only number 40. And that brings us to our last pack, which we are looking for the last pack magic with Butterfree. Giovanni, he's evil. Uh, Ratatata, Coughing, Abra, how cute, just sleeping by a little rock. Sandshrew Reverse, and we've got Articuno Hollow. That is the last pack. No last pack magic, but we've got a few hits, and we have not yet opened our secret rare from this booster box, which means next time we have something to look forward to, hoping for those alt art Charizards and whatnot. Let me set that aside, and let's go to our last two graded cards here, and that will cap off the video. Uh, let's start with this one. This, I feel like I had another 10 in here. I don't know. I feel like I had more than one 10. I mean, when I submit them, I think half of them are 10s, but you know. This one looks very good. I think the centering is good. There's no Nikolai. There's nothing else. So we look at, there it is, the Gem Mint 10 Unknown V Alt Art. I was very happy when I pulled this from Silver Tempest. This was during our hot streak where we went like, Charizard alt art card that I graded with PSA up there. Then we got the Radiant Charizard. Then we got the Mewtwo alt art from Pokemon Go. And then we opened Silver Tempest and got the Japanese Lugia alt art, which I did end up selling because that thing is worth so much money and I have to fund my channel. And then we pulled this one in the English Silver Tempest. It was, those were the days, you know, way back, way back in the fall of 2022, all those years ago. Number 177 out of 195, Unknown V, Silver Tempest, Gem Mint 10. I love this card. This might make it up on the wall as well. And that brings us to our final card, which I, oh, oh, I just, I'm dumb. Well, I revealed it. I couldn't remember what it was, and now I remember what it was. Special Delivery Charizard, Gem Mint, well, not Gem Mint, Mint Plus 9.5, Black Star Promo from the Pokemon Center Purchase. I think I got, did I get two of these? I don't remember if I got one or two of these special delivery Charizards, but uh, <laughs> I think I sent in the best I could find and it's slightly off center, which is probably what kept it from being a 10. I do like the hollow. I, I like having graded cards that are just like the classic old hollow cards that are actually worth something. Um, Cause obviously now like the hollows we get are like this and it's like, hey, you can get this card for 30 cents and it kind of takes away the fun. But this hollow, this is the old bubble hollow promo. Sword and Shield number 75. It's been so long since this actually released now, yet it hasn't because it's only from 2022. This might make it into my Charizard frames back here. I try to put all my Charizards up there. And that's actually gonna do it for this opening. I think it went pretty well. We got a couple tens. We got a couple pulls. We obviously got our, our Caterpie here. Piplup, I'm sorry you fell down. Uh, we got, oh my God, I'm knocking everything over. So there we go. Giveaway pile has begun strong for the month of August. And stay tuned for next time because I have more Pokemon 151 and something else interesting to mix in with it. And don't forget, clap your hands. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands, hands, hands. Clap your hands, everybody.